It was all going so well. Dancing around and getting cinematic shots in the sunset. But of course, this is us. And in true sparkling Liza fashion, nothing ever goes to plan. And so it was, at this moment, that Sparky realised that I have done something really, really stupid. <laughs> It's been a long time since we've had an adventure. Or a proper vlog in total, apart from the update, which was a very short update, <laughs> but it wasn't actually that short. Yeah, and we haven't really been on like a proper adventure in ages, because obviously the world situation at the moment we haven't been able to, but we are now back! And that's why oh, we're here nice. in this stunning location. Ooh, look at it, look, look, look. Stunning mystery location. <laughs> and we came here a few years ago, so we thought, we know it, we liked it, we used shots from it, so we're back again to get some more shots. So we're going to be putting together a nice cinematic sequence, well hopefully, it's not quite sunny today, we're going to try and put together a nice cinematic sequence <laughs> for you, so let us know what you think. We've realised it's not that great, we can't rely on the weather in this country anymore, and that's not going to stop us, is it? Because... Nothing will stop us! <laughs> life is for living, and that's what we're doing. <laughs> life is for living, have fun, go with the flow, Adventuring. Adventuring. <laughs> I, don't, which I, I don't know what to say. Basically lots of motivational stuff. Lots of motivational stuff <laughs> insert in here. So, let's get cracking! I look back at the footage now and I think, what was Eliza doing? We ran over to Mavis, as you can see, flustered and sweating, eagerly awaiting what we might find. Holy I can't believe that even just happened. <laughs> just being so careless. But, there's not a scratch on the gimbal. Covered in mud, there's just a few scratches on the bottom and now I'm going to try it and see if it actually still works. This is the moment of truth. <laughs> this is what happens when you're having too much fun and not paying attention. <laughs> Case. Ready to go back home to check a calibration. As you can see from the footage, it's slightly off centre. I'm hoping it's just the calibration. But anyway, at the end of the day, what can you do? I could get really down about it, panic, but it's just a bit of technology. <laughs> just gotta have fun. Anyway, we're gonna go now fly the Mavic Mini. Um, so let's go over there and do that instead. <laughs> 
Well, one thing we can say is we never let the drone crash spoil our fun. And with the trusty Mavic Mini, albeit a little bit grainy because of the low light, we decided to carry on having some fun. charge yesterday to check the calibration on the drone after yesterday's fiasco because obviously it's too dark to see it really but now we're going to check and fingers crossed it is actually just the calibration when it did fly straight even you saw the footage it flew this this way into into the hill at god knows how fast it was going didn't check <laughs> but it was fast <laughs> Okay, we're about to do the calibration process. So apparently after a crash, you actually have to calibrate the vision sensors using your PC or laptop. So that's what we're just doing at the moment. Spock is just setting up his laptop. Fingers crossed. It's all going to be fine. <laughs> Right, so the verdict is, we tried to calibrate it on Sparky's laptop, but it didn't work. And we tried to, to calibrate it on Sparky's Mac, and it also didn't work because the software it was out of date and discontinued. Um, and we couldn't download the actual new update because the, compute, the software on the computer is too new. So, <laughs> so the next plan of action is to, to try it at my house with my Mac, my sister's Mac, my brother's Mac, and my laptop. So hopefully one of them works. But if that doesn't work, there also might be a new problem. I don't know if you can see here now. We weren't sure if, um, I don't know if you can see, we weren't sure if, which Adam pointed out, which the, the metal plate might be slightly bent or the gimbal, the motor arm might be slightly bent. Which I'm really hoping it isn't. But if it is that, I've looked online, it's, it's not too expensive to send in for some repairs. It's like 80 pound plus VAT. So fingers crossed. I mean, I hope it's not that. It might try and bend it back myself, don't know yet. <laughs> I'll get someone else to do it for me. But yeah, so anyway, that's that's the update. We'll keep you updated on that. Until this time, we've got Sparky's Mavic and we've got the Anafi as well. So, we'll keep you updated on this in the next video, or the video after that, or the video after that, depending on how long it takes to get it actually repaired. <laughs> but anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Give us a thumbs up. Give us a comment in the commentary box below. And don't forget to kick that notification bell. And we'll see you next time.